Hey guys, Zach Gross with Creative Liquid Productions. Today on Practicals, we're going to talk about Creative Liquid's audio setup for an interview shoot. When we conduct an interview shoot, we have a couple standard practices that we use to make sure we get good audio. Here's the breakdown. We use two microphones for our subject, a boom mic or a shotgun mic, and a lav or a lavalier mic. The boom mic is our main mic. It's got the best quality and range. Because of its directional pickup pattern, you should place the mic as close to your talent as possible from above. The lav is our backup in case the boom fails. This microphone we clip to lapels or ties, or if we don't want to see it, sometimes gap it to the inside of our subject's shirt. Lavs are great for capturing audio from an actor or a subject when a boom is impossible to use. Say for example, a wide shot with actors in a desert where a boom operator can't hide. Lav pickup patterns capture audio that's physically close to it. The problem is, because lavs are so small, the range of audio they can pick up is less. On top of that, because a subject's clothes are usually the best mic placement, lavs tend to pick up clothes rustling during movement. One tip I learned while miking an interviewee is traditionally, a lav is placed on the side the subject is speaking towards. Even with all the drawbacks of a lav mic, it's best to have a backup in case the boom fails. Once the mics are in place, we run each mic to a separate channel in the camera. Boom mic on channel one, lav mic on channel two. Having the mics on separate channels allows us to turn one off in post if we choose. If you're working with more than two mics, you'll probably run all of those feeds into a field mixer that combines and then outputs to the camera. As a cinematographer, unless I'm a one-man band, I usually try and get a producer or audio tech to listen to the feed so that I can focus on camera. Even with another person listening, I always have my audio monitors up on my screen or viewfinder to make sure that neither channel is peaking. Well guys, that's all I have for Creative Liquid's audio setup for interviews. Be sure to follow me, Zach Gross, on Twitter, at ZGrody, and be sure to follow Creative Liquid Productions on our website, creativeliquid.com, and on Twitter, at creativeliquid.